Welcome to Applied Food Science and Engineering with Prop Vigent. Let's talk about what everyone thinks of at first when they think of vanilla pudding. Reaction kinetics. Here I have two samples of pudding that were both made about 10 minutes ago. On the left, we have thick, blobby, highly viscous, yet non-Newtonian vanilla pudding. On this side, we have nearly completely watery, just about the same viscosity as the milk it started as, runny pudding. What happened? Enzymes happened. The only difference between this and this is this. Yes, I tasted the pudding and then double dipped by putting the same spoon back in the pudding cup. But I did it on purpose. This pudding is held together with cornstarch. Tangled and interconnected web of starch polymers means that this pudding is viscous and really almost semi-solid. It's a gel. This, on the other hand, has been exposed to amylase, the enzyme that's in human saliva that turns starches back into simple sugars. No more gel, no more high viscosity, and we have runny pudding. You can also learn how fast enzymes work by observing how quickly this turns into a runny mess. It started as about, what, 25 milliliters of pudding and turned into a puddle in about 45 seconds. The moral of the story is that food hygiene isn't just merely a good idea because it stops you from getting sick improves the quality of your product. And of course, chemistry is everywhere. Thanks for watching.